you are about to enter another dimension. A dimension not just of sight and of sound, but of mind. Ah, just kidding. It's video time! Hi everyone, welcome back to the land of videos. I apologize for my hiatus. Construction is, unfortunately, beyond my control. Today we're going to talk about being photogenic. I get many, many questions about how I always look so good in photos. Photographing well is a skill, and like all skills, it's something that can be learned. So today I've decided to share my five best tips for always looking amazing in photos and video, no matter what. Get ready to step up your selfie game, everyone. Lighting is essential to looking good in pictures. Natural light is best. I personally prefer the diffused light of an overcast day, but to each their own. Whatever your light is, face it. Like right now, I'm sitting in front of a bunch of windows and the natural light is coming through and hitting me square on the face so that I look lovely. If my light was up here, I would be facing this way. Backlighting where your light source is behind you, not super cute unless you want a silhouette. Likewise with side lighting, like say the light is here and you're facing this way and it's coming in this way, only one side of your face gets lit that way. It's not very forgiving. Find your light, otherwise Janice Dickinson has taught us nothing. I've written a lot about this, but sometimes the makeup that looks lovely in person doesn't translate very well to pictures. Generally, you will need a little bit more makeup to look normal in photos. So like a more intense lip color, a little more eyeliner, some extra powder to negate shine, and a little more blush if you wear it. Now to make sure you don't accidentally set foot in clown territory, take a couple pictures to test your progress as you go. Make sure it's with and without flash, just to be sure. I don't always love photos taken of myself straight on. However, if my head is tilted a little and my chin raised, you can see my lovely jawline. In three quarter profile, you can really see my high nose and big eyes. Now we're talking. Everyone's angles are different. Spend some time in front of your mirror or, you know, with your front facing camera, trying a few different ways of kind of posing with your face until you find a few you love. And do find a few. Don't fall into the trap of always making the same face in every picture. I do that sometimes. It's not good. There is a wide uncanny valley when it comes to facial expressions in pictures. Fake smiles in photos look scary. Did you take the photo? Can I say? Genuine emotion should be your watchword. If you want to smile in a picture, think of something funny. If you want to look sexy in a picture, think of something sexy. I don't even know, like Chris Pine shirtless? If you're smiling, you can even laugh a little. The laugh won't show up in the picture and it'll make you look great. I seriously do this all the time. <laughs> Selfie. Also, think of the camera as your friend. Whenever you look at it, pretend you're looking at someone that you really like. This will stop dead eyes that really register in pictures. When I first started at Vayne, I cannot tell you how bummed I would get when I'd see a photo, or like 10, of myself looking like a mountain troll. But don't let it get to you. I don't think anybody looks incredible in photos 100% of the time. I bet even Beyonce looks a bit weird in pictures occasionally. I end up taking between 1 and 400 photos for every story that I write, only to pick like 14. So there's a lot of screwiness that people never see. So even if you look like this, in a few dozen photos. Don't let that affect how you feel about yourself. Photos misfire, video is sometimes unflattering. Keep trying. All right, everyone, I hope this was helpful. With a little practice, you're going to be looking magnificent in pictures all the time. I'll be watching on Instagram to see how you're doing. Remember, if you have a question for me or you'd like to request a video, channel the spirit of Rod Serling and he'll pass it along. But really, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, or in the comments at ExoVane. See you next week, everyone. It feels so good to be back. You know, I'm glad I picked a Twilight Zone theme for this. I think it really works.